In this video, I will be discussing about Euler path and Euler cycle. In the previous video, we discussed about Hamiltonian path in which we visit each vertex of the graph exactly once. Now, if we visit each edge of the graph, then that path becomes Euler path. So here we visit each edge exactly once. And if starting and the end vertex is the same, then that path becomes Euler cycle, which is also referred to as Euler circuit. Let's see an example. So in the left side graph, if we start the traversal from E, we can go from E to D, then to A, then to C, then to B, and then to A. So I've visited all the edges of the graph exactly once. So this is an Euler path. But if you look at the right side graph, we start the traversal from E, we go to D, then we go to A, then B, then C, then A, then again E. So starting and the end vertex is the same. So this is an Euler cycle. So basically we visit each edge exactly once and if the starting and the end is the same, then that path becomes the Euler cycle. Now let's see what is Euler graph. So a graph that contains an Euler cycle is known as Eulerian graph. And a graph that contains Euler path that is known as semi Eulerian graph. So the left side graph as we have seen it contains a Euler path. So it is a semi Eulerian graph. And the right side one contains an Euler cycle. So this is an Eulerian graph. So now let's have a look at the Euler path and circuit theorem. So this theorem helps us to identify that whether a given graph contains an Euler path or circuit. There is a base condition to it. All the vertices which have non-zero degree should be connected. Because in Euler path or circuit, we have to visit each edge of the graph. But a graph can be composed of many disconnected components. Let's say this is the graph which has four vertices and there is another disconnected component, let's say vertex E. But if you have to draw the Euler path for this, it will only compose of the edges. So this vertex will not play any role. So basically all the vertices with non-zero degree should be connected. And once the precondition is satisfied, then an Euler path is present in a graph when all the vertices of the graph have exactly zero or two vertices that have odd degree. And an Euler circuit is when all the vertices have even degree. Let's see in the example. If we calculate the degree for each of the vertices, at vertex C, we have two edges, so in degrees 2, for B also in degrees 2, for A in degrees 3, for D in degrees 2, and for E in degrees 1. So here we can see we have two vertices that have odd degree. So this graph contains Euler path. And if we take the right side graph, if we calculate the degree for each of the vertices, C has degree of 2, B has degree of 2, A has degree of 4, and D and E both have degree of 2. And all the vertices have even degree. So this graph has Euler circuit. So if we just calculate the degree of each of the vertices of the graph, we can find out whether the graph contains Euler path or Euler cycle. But let's say we also want to print what is the Euler cycle or Euler path. So there is an algorithm for that. Let's have a look. So that algorithm is known as Fleury's algorithm for finding out the Euler path or Euler cycle. So the first step is we have to check whether the graph on which we are running this algorithm, whether it contains Euler path or Euler cycle. So now we have already seen how we can do that. We just need to check the degree of each of the vertices. And if all the vertices are even degree, then we can say that it has a Euler cycle. And if there are two or zero vertices that have odd degree, we can say it is a Euler path. But if this condition is not satisfied, we can simply say the given graph is not Eulerian. But if this condition is satisfied, let's see what is the next step. So we start the traversal from the first odd degree vertex or any random vertex. So if we calculate the degree of each of the vertices in this graph, so 2 has degree of 2, 1 also has degree of 2, 0 has degree of 4, and 3 and 4 both have degree of 2. So there is no vertex which has an odd degree. So let's say we start our traversal from 1. So vertex 1 is our start vertex. So we pass 1 to the print Euler function. So V is 1. Then for each adjacent vertex of 1, so adjacent vertices of 1 are 2 and 0. So let's say we start with 2. So AV is 2. 
we call is valid next edge function so in this function is valid next edge we basically check two conditions so first we check whether the vertex is the only adjacent vertex or if there are multiple adjacent vertices whether this edge is a bridge edge or not so what do we mean by bridge edge so bridge edges are those edges that if we remove them graph becomes disconnected so basically we have to check whether this edge is not a bridge edge so let's say we call this function pe and we called it for the vertex 1 and now v is 1 av is 2 we invoke this function is valid next edge for 1 comma 2 we check whether av is the only adjacent vertex of v so this is not true because there are two adjacent vertices which are 2 and 0 and the second is we check if there are multiple adjacents and edge vav is not a bridge so how we can check this is that if we remove this edge is the graph disconnected so we can see that the graph is not disconnected because we can reach all the vertices so this edge is not a bridge edge so this function will return true so this returns true we go in the if condition and we print this edge vav so let's print the output here we print 1 comma 2 and in the next step we remove this edge v comma av and we call print euler function for the vertex 2 so now v is 2 and we have to call for each adjacent vertex of v so adjacent vertices of 2 are only 0 because we have removed this edge so av is 0 now now we check this if condition is valid next edge now the vertices which we are passing here are 2 and 0 so we can see that 2 and 0 is the only edge which is connected to 2 so the first condition here is evaluated which returns true so we come inside the if condition and we print v to av so we print 2 to 0 and we remove this edge and we call print euler function for the vertex 0 so now v becomes 0 so adjacent vertices of 0 are 1 3 and 4 so if we pick the vertex 1 so av becomes 1 we check is valid next edge for 0 comma 1 we first check if av is the only adjacent vertex so this is wrong because for 0 we have three adjacent vertices which are 1 3 and 4 we check the second condition so if we see here if we remove this edge 0 comma 1 then the graph becomes disconnected because one will be separated so this edge is a bridge edge so we cannot remove this so this is valid next edge will return false so this returns false so we have to check the next adjacent vertex for 0 so the next adjacent vertex is 3 so av becomes equal to 3 and we check is valid next edge for 0 comma 3 we check if it is the only adjacent vertex it is not and we check the second condition so this edge is not a bridge edge because if we remove the edge from 0 to 3 3 is not disconnected the graph is still connected because we can reach 3 via 4 so this is valid next edge will return true when this returns true we print v to av so we print 0 to 3 and we remove this edge and we call print euler for the vertex 3 so now v is 3 adjacent vertex of 3 which is left is vertex 4 so av becomes equal to 4 and we check the is valid next edge for 3 comma 4 so now this is the only vertex which is adjacent to 3 so this will return true when this returns true we print the vertices 3 to 4 and we remove this edge and we call print euler for the vertex 4 so now v is 4 so adjacent vertex of 4 is only 0 because that is the only one left so av is 0 and we call this function is valid next edge for 4 comma 0 so this first condition is evaluated because it is the only adjacent vertex of 4 so this will return true when this returns true we print the vertices v to av so we print 4 to 0 and we remove this edge and we call print euler for the vertex 0 so now v is 0 so the only adjacent vertex which is left is 1 so av becomes equal to 1 and we check is valid next edge 0 comma 1 so since this is the only adjacent vertex left so this function will return true when this returns true we print the vertices v to av so we print 0 to 1 and we remove this edge and we call print euler for the vertex 1 so now v is 1 but for 1 there is no additional vertex left so this for loop terminates and we return from this print euler function 
for vertex 0 also there is no addition vertex left so we return from here also so in this way we will return back to the main function so the function terminates the output that is printed is we go from vertex 1 to 2 then 2 to 0 then 0 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 0 and 0 to 1 so this is how we obtain Euler path or Euler cycle so the concept of bridges is important here is because basically we don't want to burn the bridges we preserve them for completion of the path so once we've understood the algorithm let's see the implementation so i'm using c to implement this and all the source code that i'll be showing is available in my github repository link of which is available here and as well as in the description now let's have a look at the code so in the main function i create a graph with five vertices i add all the edges from 0 to 1 0 to 2 0 to 3 and in this way i initialize the graph then i have this function is eulerian where i check whether the graph is eulerian or not so in this is eulerian function first i check whether all non-zero degree vertices are connected or not if they're not connected i simply return zero which means the graph is not eulerian but if the graph is connected i count all the vertices which have odd degree and if there are more than two vertices which have odd degree that means the graph is not eulerian and if the graph has all even degrees then it means it contains an euler cycle so based on the return value i print here whether the graph is eulerian semi eulerian or not an eulerian and this is connected function this is basically a simple dfs traversal so if you have any doubts on how to do a dfs traversal i have made a separate video explaining that in detail i will link that in the description on the top right corner you can have a look so once you have figured out whether the graph is eulerian or not let's see how we can print it so the first step is we find a vertex with the odd degree so i traverse the graph and i find a vertex which has an odd degree if the graph has no odd degree i start the traversal from vertex 0 and then have this function euler cycle where i pass the graph and the starting vertex in the function euler cycle i check the adjacent vertices of the vertex passed and i check which is the valid next edge once i obtain the valid next edge i print the path from u to av then i remove that edge and then i again call the euler cycle function so this is the same as we have seen in the pseudo code so now let's have a look what is there in this is valid next edge function so in this function the first step is whether there are any adjacent vertices left or not if there are no adjacent vertices left i return zero and if there is only one addition left i return true because this is the valid next edge then i have to check whether the edge that we have passed here is a bridge or not and how we can do that is basically we do a dfs traversal so if at vertex 0 i have to check whether the edge 0 to 1 is a bridge edge or not i will remove this edge from 0 to 1 and i will do a dfs traversal and i will see how many nodes i can reach from vertex 0 so this i have done here I counted how many roads I can reach from vertex 0. So basically we have to do DFS traversal twice. Once when we remove this edge and once with the edge. And if we see that when we remove the edge, the number of reachable nodes are less, then that means this edge was a bridge edge. So if it is a bridge edge, then we return false. And if it is not a bridge edge, means this is a valid edge and we can return true. If we return true, then we remove this edge for the subsequent operation. And in this remove edge function, I find that in the adjacency list and I place minus one in that location. So that is why you will see here checks for minus one. So let's see what is the output of this program. So we can see first it check whether the graph is Eulerian or not. It found out the graph is Eulerian and the Euler cycle is it printed is 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 0, 0 to 3, 3 to 4 and 4 to 0. And if we try to see the time complexity of this algorithm so basically here we're doing the dfs traversal twice so the time complexity will be order of v plus c into square because order of v plus c is the time complexity for the dfs traversal so that was all for this video if you have any doubts or suggestions please leave in the comment box below please do give a like share and subscribe to my channel it really motivates me to make more such content and until next time this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.